regardless of the odds that a reward will work. Most parents will want to offer one if they possibly can in an effort to turn over every stone in search of finding their missing child. But what happens when that doesn't happen? Well, you hope you have a community that will rally behind you, that will rally for you or your child. At least that's what I would want. Anyway, the Summer Wells Reward Fund has increased and we are very hopeful that somebody somewhere just might say something. The reward fund for missing Hawkins County five-year-old Summer Wells has surpassed $70,000. The Churchill Rescue Squad says the fund was up to $70,915. Summer Wells was reported missing from her home in the Beach Creek community on June 15th. It has been five months now since Summer Wells was reported missing from her home in the Beach Creek community. Authorities with the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, the TBI, the FBI, they're all continuing to follow tips and leads about what happened to the little five-year-old girl. Reporter Ansley Daniel spoke with Sheriff Ronnie Lawson about how the case is continuing to be handled. I assure you we've done everything when we was up on that scene, everything humanly possible to do. It's been months since the weeks long ground search for Summer Wells was called off in the Beach Creek community. The manpower, the search, the helicopters, the airplanes, tremendous amount of, of dogs, cadaver dogs, search dogs, search and rescue teams. Now, the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, TBI, and FBI are still following up on tips. I have one detective assigned to it, and TBI has agents assigned to it as well. We have the FBI partners on board. My detective, when he gets things, comes in that he needs to look at, then he will get other detectives to help him follow up those leads. Summer's parents and concerned community members believe she may have been abducted or trafficked. I assure you we've done everything when we was up on that scene, everything humanly possible to do. The FBI's Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team even came to Beach Creek. That's a team dedicated to investigative, technical, analytical, and resource assistance on site during non-family child abductions, ransom child abductions, and mysterious disappearances of children. We brought the, the FBI car team in. And everything that they can find, there was no indication whatsoever of child abduction. The TBI asked for help finding the driver of a Toyota pickup truck that was seen in the area around the time Summer went missing. That's the last new public information that was released. You would think if somebody had saw something, they would come forward, even if they just had the truck and didn't see anything. But, like I said before, it may be somebody that has paid no attention to this. Or maybe somebody that's got a criminal record and was driving what's supposed to be driving too. Months later, that truck and its driver haven't been identified. But we learned more about the person who gave the information about the truck. It was somebody driving a company truck that uh, a lot of the officers here are familiar with this gentleman. And we believe that he actually saw it. Almost five months, more than 1,500 tips, and a massive ground search later. The question of where Summer Wells is still remains. Nothing pointing to, to abduction, nothing pointing to foul play, other than her walking out outside the house and, and not being found is basically the main thing right now. And what actually happened to her, we're still trying to find out. Oh, still such a mystery. Now, the TBI declined our request for an interview and referred us to previously recorded interviews on their website. We still believe, and we're not going to let anybody change that.
gentleman, and we believe that he actually saw it. Almost five months, more than 1,500 tips, and a massive ground search later. The question of where Summer Wells is still remains. Nothing pointing to abduction, nothing pointing to foul play, other than her walking out outside the house and, and not being found is basically the main thing right now. What actually happened to her, we're still trying to find out. Oh, still such a mystery. Now, the TBI declined our request for an interview and referred us to previously recorded interviews on their website. Let's take one more look at Summer Wells. If you have any credible information that could help lead investigators to Summer, you're asked to call 1-800-TBI-FIND.